In this video, I'm gonna cover the three different things that you can do at home to know if the clunial nerves are contributing to your back pain. So the clunial nerves are these nerves that come off the spine. They're gonna run through the erector spinae muscle group, which is your back strap muscles. They're gonna then cross over top of the iliac crest and then distribute to give sensation along the low back and upper glute region. Now, when you flex forward, and when you flex away from the side of pain, both of those movements are gonna increase the amount of tension that is present in that nerve. It's also gonna cause some nerve gliding. Basically, it's gonna pull that nerve towards the midline. If your clunial nerves are part of the cause of your pain, those two movements there are generally gonna increase in the amount of pain. Now, that doesn't happen with everybody because we do have a lot of movement in those nerves, but it is something that I'm looking for during a physical exam with patients in my office. The last one is a really easy one that you can do, and it is just running your fingers along the iliac crest on the back side. So that's that bone that runs kind of uh, on the back side of the hip there. Because the clunial nerves are crossing over top of that iliac crest, if you palpate that area and that causes your pain, what we would call concordant pain, it recreates your pain. What you're actually doing is what I would do in the office is palpating the clunial nerves. If those clunial nerves are contributing to your back pain, then that is going to be painful. And those are three ways that you can see if the clunial nerves are contributing to your back pain.